I should probably start filming Frank's school from down at this spot, come here periodically, because it's going to start to change its overall appearance pretty soon. Uh, everywhere you see, you know, things incomplete. But uh, <clears throat> what I want to do now is show you what I've done with the Cooper's hut. Let me zoom toward it. Toward, compare those two. The one on the right is his shop, the one on the left would be his home or wherever his dwelling. We're going to go up there. Uh, I experimented. Uh, I wanted to see what it was going to look like with the... Well, I'll just tell you right now. I put the trim on it. Not all of it, but some of it. Uh, and I needed to because to make it safe, that that those braces are critical to give it stability. It's the first bracing I've actually done on any of these. And the corner uh, uh, boards become posts, in effect. We'll, we'll, go up, we'll go up closer. There you can see a little bit better what I've done. The white is uh, ensilage wrap. It's, they, they use it for wrapping uh, bales. This is old used that I've got laying out there as mulch to get ready for that garden if I have time this year to even put it in. But it's doing its job. Anyway, I got a roll of new and wrapped it. Hard to work with because it's like cellophane. It sticks to itself. It's very thin. But I think I'll do it double or triple and I'll wrap the whole building. Uh, it won't do any harm and I can cut it off when I plaster it. The, ultimately the in my intention is to to plaster it and, and let the slats of the uh, pallet show, but uh, we'll have to see about that. But in any case, it, it, uh, it gave me a chance to show what the white looks like. Uh, <clears throat> now that trim is just tacked on there and some of it, that center post, short post you can see is moved. It just tacked with really just one nail because I, I, I needed to calculate how long the braces should be. And I really had to put it on the building to see. And I'll put them, <clears throat> you know, I have uh, six more to go around. Each, each side will have two braces. And, uh, well, they're a little different. Let me walk a little. Well, while I'm here, you can maybe see that two of the pieces are still missing. There's two short ones. Uh, let me try zooming and maybe you can see what I mean. Right in the center there is one that's missing and right in the center there is a short one that's missing. Um, and I'm going to change that. Those are one by sixes and uh, one by threes. I'm going to make that rail uh, one by four because they uh, they should be, uh, the braces are one by threes, and the braces are never bigger than, than posts and rails and beams and, uh, and uh, sills and, and plates. Okay, now I'm very close, and, and you can see these are oak uh, one bys uh, boards. Th this, uh, this, I believe, is a, that is a four, uh, one by four, but this is a one by three and this is the one that's a one by three, and I, I, I need to change it, this one, change it to a one by four, it just uh, to be right. And here's the one that's missing. Now, they, what they do is they <clears throat> unite the, the pallet, the two pallets and the rail, uh, or yeah, the rail. Now in this building, the rail is only one board thick. In all future buildings, I intend to make the rail two inches thick. Uh, two layers, just like the down down here. That's the way the plate is. It's two, and up at the top, the uh, I mean this this is called the sill. I, I did that so I could get the uh, lapping uh, a lap joint here, and at the top it'll also be uh, two two thick, uh, uh, two inches thick. Now that will. I'll have one, two, three, four. I'll need four inches here anyway in order to uh, to grip everything. So as I say, these are just, just tacked on there. Uh, there's just one nail. But they already stiffened the building. Now let's, I want to go inside and show you what I've done there. Okay, we'll walk across this little makeshift bridge. There's my water supply and my 
poor water wheel that so badly needs to be repaired. And there's the, the water supply. This, I haven't said for a while, this is going to be a little tiny uh, uh, line shaft. It'll turn that stone. But anyway, um, hmm, that, uh, that corner board is quite out of plumb, but then it's only tacked on with one nail. All right, we're going to go in here, and uh, these are joists. <clears throat> and what I did, I had to splice them because I didn't have long enough. They needed to be 10, 10 feet long, so I had to splice them. And I put a, a one by three on the bottom to act like a joint uh, inside and I tacked it on the outside as well. I don't know if you can see that. I, uh, something's in the way here. Well, maybe there you can see them. So they drop down on the sill. The ones uh, for on the ends, that, that, that will rest on the wall. So it doesn't need to, uh, it doesn't need to have this piece. Now, I, and I let this stick out a little bit here in case I decide to lay some, some material in there. Vinyl? I hard, hard, no, I don't think I use vinyl, but I could lay boards in there if I wanted to have a ceiling. Uh, all right, and now that long piece, that's going to be the header, and it's pine. Uh, this is oak. These are oak. But that's pine because I didn't want that any heavier than it had to be. And it was so tricky to figure out where to put the splice. Once again, I had to splice it. But I had to plan that splice so it would not interfere. So it would go in between these and it would not interfere with these blocks. So we'll see if we get it up there. But then, uh, I'll go up soon, it's going to be stable enough. I can lay a temporary floor up there and I can put the rafters on. That'll be the next really big step. All right, I'll film it uh, one more time, I think. Uh, now, the, here's the way it you know, looks when you only got the palace there and the door frames and, and these corners aren't right. And, but things are coming along. Okay, now I, after this I'll stop. You can see I don't have the uh, braces or the trim on the other three sides. Uh, but that's the way it looks before any of this and that's the way it looks now. Alright, I think that's an update. I see the goats are heading out to pasture, so I better let the billy goat go too, because he'll ball. Bye for now.